Hi guys, this is tablenews.com and I'm here with a tablet called the Chewy V8. It's an 8 inch tablet and it's also the first dual boot tablet that we test. It has both Android and Windows 8.1 and this is just the unboxing. The review will be coming in a few days. So it's an 8 incher with a very surprising price. It costs just $85 at the moment of this unboxing available on GearBest, which is a shop that will ship the devices. Of course, there are some extra shipping fees, but they're not huge. Anyway, a tablet, a dual boot tablet for sub $100, that's a good deal. The product was launched at the end of last year. It came to the shops earlier this year, and it's an 8-incher that feels pretty solid at the first contact, made of plastic with Intel inside. And let's see what's in the box. Everything is packed inside another box, so let's see what's here. My guess is the charger that may require a special adapter in some countries within the EU. And here we can find some cables from what I can see. We got the USB cable. And then I feel there's an extra one here. The USB OTG cable, so it allows you to plug in um, USB stick or maybe even a mouse or keyboard. Finally, the documentation is all here, bunch of manuals in Chinese, but I'm guessing there's also one in English. I hope there's one in English. Anyway, probably you can get that online as well. Let's put everything back in the box and handle the device for a bit. I'm looking forward to seeing its HDMI port. So we got here the micro SD card slot. Here we can find the uh, one of these is the micro USB port and the other one is the mini HDMI port. We got the audio jack here, the back camera. And finally the buttons here which I'm going to press and fire up this dual boot beast. This is the Chewy V8. It's not V8 like in the engine, it's uh, VI8. Initially it was priced at $120, then it dropped to $92 and now to $85, so that's impressive. Okay. We log in and this is the Windows 8.1 aspect of the tablet. Runs pretty smooth, may require some upping of the brightness, that's more like it. Go to the desktop mode, we can check out the folders. I remember a while ago we tested a tablet that was called the Asus Note 8 or something like that or the Asus Vivo Tab 8. It reminds me of that model quite a bit through its format, its build and general usability. Okay, this is the virtual keyboard, looking pretty comfy at first sight. I'm very curious about the apps that you have available here, in case you have ones. We got OneDrive, we got Microsoft Office, uh, we got Internet Explorer, the Bing Suite, and that's pretty much it. Some math input panel, Windows speech recognition, the command prompt that I'm going to use in order to find the battery life. And now let's see how we can switch to Android. In the taskbar, there's an Android button here. I press it and then I press OK and now we're entering Android. By the way, we're entering Android 4.4 KitKat which is available as a combo with Windows 8.1. Inside the tablet there's the Intel Atom Z3735F processor. It's a quad core clocked at 1.8 GHz and the display is an 8 incher with an IPS panel and a resolution of 1280 over 800 pixels. Other specs include 2 GB of RAM. 32GB of storage, a micro SD card slot, Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth, micro USB, mini HDMI, and the battery is a bit on the low side, 5000 mAh, on paper it offers you 5 hours of video playback, basically 2 back-to-back -back movies and 2 episodes of a TV show. We also got a G sensor and at the front there is a 0.3 megapixel camera here, while at the back there is a 2 megapixel camera. The box is made of cardboard and this is KitKat. Seems to be working without a lag and the experience feels pretty much stock. I don't see any modifications here. Maybe a custom launcher, anything like that. Here we can see the OS switch button and let's see if we can increase the brightness. This is the maximum. So on Windows we had the, the OS switch button on the taskbar. In Android we have a screenshot button and next to it in the drop down area OS switch. I spotted some apps here, some Chinese apps, we got Tencent Video, these are probably all about social networking. Other than that, we seem to have Chrome, an e-reader, we got Google Maps, 
and a few other stuff that we'll enjoy later on. Seems to be lag free at first sight. We got the Play Store, which is a good news. Some Chinese tablets don't have the Play Store, which is a bit of a bummer. Anyway, you can easily alternate between operating systems. It takes a while to boot, but in the end, you get the best of two worlds, Android and Windows, with this dual boot Chewy V8 tablet. At this moment, on GearBest, it's priced at $85, which is very, very affordable. The slate is 8mm thick, or better said 7.9. It weighs 350 grams. And that's pretty much it. It has a plastic case that feels pretty solid. We'll be back with a full review ASAP. This is tabletnews.com and this is the first dual boot tablet ever testing. Bye bye.